Working Land is one of the better known dog cafes. Which is why it's the first one on our list that we visited. In the dog zone, there were more people than dogs. The day we came here was a holiday, so it was really packed. So that's our first tip really, is don't go on weekends and don't go on holidays because it can get really busy. I love the variety of the dogs that they have. Probably the most well-behaved dogs that we met on our journey. I've never seen any dog fighting. No, no fights, no messing around. And very clean. The fair itself is very cozy. I think it would be best if they minimize the number of people in inside the dog zone. Too many people on the day. But if you love taking pictures, these dogs are really ready for that. Yeah, you. Some of the shots we took were unbeatable. The dogs just line up for you, and they're ready to pose. They've been trained so well. It wasn't our favorite dog cafe, but we recommend coming here. We arrived in a wrong day because it was holiday, but given a chance, we would definitely go back on a non dc day. The next stop, Pops and Cups, which is one of my favorite little cute dog cafes. Yeah, the name is very descriptive. You basically just get tiny dogs <laughs> and, and they are bundles of joy. We had a really good timing when we went there because there are literally no people. Just like two of us and another couple, I think. But yeah, we have the dogs ourselves. And unlike any dog cafes, here you will have the chance to feed this little cute dog. And they will do a little trick just for the food. Yeah, Corgi Shih Tzu's Pomeranians. This is an ideal cafe for you if those are your favorite dogs. Pops and Cups is actually open till 11 p.m. If you're living around Bacoor, Cavite, Tagaytay, this is the best dog cafe for you to visit if you don't want to travel that far going to Manila. These little dogs may be small but they are full of energy and they love playing not to people but to one another. Sometimes it's hard to get their attention because they're always playing with each other. <laughs> this, was our, uh, this was actually our runner-up favorite dog cafe that we visited. Yeah. It, it's, we definitely recommend it. I, and like Barking Blends, this dog also know how to smile to the camera. If you're from Manila, it might be a little trouble going to Las Piñas, but if you get to the dog cafe, it's worth it. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah. This was probably the most fun cafe we actually went to. Our cafe is Wolf and Bear. And no, there's no wolf and there's no bear. <laughs> Just a lot of dogs. Really big fluffy dogs is what you get here. Entering the dog zone, say hi to the little monkey. So uh, what really separates this dog cafe is that if you want to enter the dog cafe, you also have you also get entry to their cat zone. And once inside, be ready to hug this cute, cute, cute white big wolf. 
<laughs> they're not they're not dangerous they're beautiful and fluffy and full of love and cheer and they're happy to see you they're like the game of thrones wolves so if you love game of thrones this is a good shot for you go look for snow he's like a playboy model posing he knows he's beautiful <laughs> This is just the first side of the dog cafe and once you get upstairs you will see their small dogs. They do not put the big and the small dogs together because I guess they don't mix. Overall, this dog cafe stands stands out above the rest. It is by far the most bang for your buck. Yep, it is a really, really good dog cafe. I would really love to go back here. This is the only dog cafe we're going to visit again. Finally, we are at Wagging Tails. Wagging Tails recently moved. So if you would like to visit them, just check the address on the Facebook and not on the Google Maps. They also have a pretty good dog selection. Lots of beautiful fluffy dogs. These dogs are not as well behaved as the ones in Barking Blends. Their way of playing, but yes, get ready to be beaten, scratch. <laughs> we enjoyed visiting all the dog cafes, including this one, but there is some small room for improvement. Especially when it comes to the behavior of the dogs. People with allergies might have some trouble here. There's a lot of dog hairs and fur all around the place. <laughs>